How to create an ebook in Canva for KDP. Hello, guys, and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to create a KDP or a Kindle direct publishing. So, we are going to see it right there. This is a part of the Amazon company. You are going to publish some ebooks in the name of KDP. As you can see, Kindle direct publishing. Now, the market of the KDP or the Amazon is going to be a large market, which will help you a lot to generate some uh, or a big amount of benefits if your KDP or your ebook is going to be something that has a lot of value. So, for the KDP, it is not only set up for the ebooks, you can go ahead and create some coloring books, some um, let's say here poems, uh, whatever. But in our today's video, we are going to concentrate on how we can create the ebook using Canva. So basically, we are going to head over to canva.com, then we are going to sign in into our account. And the second thing is to click on the search bar at the top and type in ebook like that and click on enter. You are going to see here the list of the ebooks. So basically, I have a setup or a clicked on ebook because we need the template. Here the size are going to be the uh, generic or the universal sizes that we need. So we are going to select one of the ebooks uh, or the covers right there and start working with ours. So I'm going to click on show more. Basically, I'm going to select one that has a free label or it doesn't matter. So we are not going to see the crown logo on it. I'm going to choose this one and see that we have the font right there. So basically, I'm going to delete everything right there and only let the font. So the font, I do not like it that much, but I prefer this one. So we are going to make a font out of this one. Now, what are we going to do is you have an element like something like this one. So basically not this maybe I have made a error so I am going to make this like that and see what I am going to get from here maybe like that and the color is not going to be like this but we are going to see the uh, gradient the second gradient should be a little bit clearer so maybe like that let's see this is more appealing so i'm going to make this only for the first page so the second page is going to be this yellowish now what are we going to do is maybe to have here uh, this specific pattern i'm going to put the position of it to the back so we are going to see something amazing like this. So I have created a pattern. So we are going to see it only here. So maybe it is going to be this, like this pattern. I'm going to put it here also like that. And I am going to position it here to the back. So we are going to get this. So let's see if something should be like this maybe it is okay now what are we going to do is to add some titles like i'm going to put here here some white not this shape but this one i'm going to add maybe this like that and we are going to put it here the color i'm going to put up some white like this or we can go ahead and select a creamy white so i'm going to select this gradient and the second one is going to be a little bit yellowish like this uh i think that it is going to be like that maybe so maybe like that is better so this and we are going to put up a title so for example we are going to add a text or a subheading like that so like this and we are going to give it a subtitle or a title like uh the ebook is going to be about 
maybe the the aspects of life for example this is just an example take it as an example i'm going to copy this title i'm going to head over to gpt uh here we are going to set up your ebook write me and uh, a book an ebook for example an ebook about the aspect of life for example now we are going to get the table of content as you can see and that table of content is going to be something that is mandatory here we have the chapters and it is going to write up the chapters now the table of content is going to be needed why because we are going to set it up as the introduction uh, like this copy it introduction of the ebook now we are going to let the illustration to till the end i'm going to add here another box like that so we are going to get it here like this maybe a little bit bigger in here we are going to put up the right color to it and what i am going to do is to add a body and that body is going to be at the top i'm going to set up here everything like this so basically we have not all the text set up but we are going to copy the uh, chapter four or three and above like that i am i am having some troubles here but i'm going to put that in just a few seconds so right there we have set up the table of content or the summary of this specific ebook we have uh, a lot of as you can see uh, right there elements that we have from chat gpt or generated we're going to see here all the chapters put up into some pages now what are we going to do is to add an illustration for example a photo like life and here we are going to set up only the photo we can go ahead and get for example this photo and modify it a little bit so i'm going to make it a little bit smaller and here we are going to add a text to that photo like the aspect of for example like that we're going to make it like this boom and then we can go ahead and get the color for example white so and there we are going to uh, modify for example the uh, font it's just an example and from here you can go ahead and also uh, modify all the fonts that we have now to the most serious uh, right there content you can go ahead and add as many pages as we want and here all i am going to do is to paste that specific uh, shape that i have added into the pages now what are we going to do is to set up the pages from the chat gpt normally we are going to see here the chapters and each chapter is going to have something so here i think that uh, the chat gpt has confused a little bit the table of content with the content itself so we have a resume or a sample uh, chapter excerpt so i think that it is not going to be here that long but it has made an excerpt for our sample so we are going to stick to that. I, I was wrong. So ChatGPT did know what I can or what we wanted to do, but it is okay. So I'm going to set up here something like a body and like that. So we can go ahead and make it a little bit smaller and wider like that little bit in here so what are we going to do now is to get that specific longer ports and we are going to add them to this specific one 
here we are going to add them here i'm going to delete all of that make this a little bit like that and make it bigger like that so we can get a little bit here from here and there about the text let's change the position to here maybe that is perfect maybe not who knows something like that is going to be here um let's say more uh efficient like this so all the pages that i do not need for now are going to be deleted so let's stick to this specific one and what are we going to do is to head over here set up the uh, lines like that do something like this and set up our bold text of course also this one is going to be more on this side so i'm going to make it a little bit longer in here so i think that this is better maybe it is not that perfect but it is okay like this perfect now what are we going to do from here we've had uh or the uh book like this the aspect aspects not aspect but here we are going to put up the design just like that make sure that it is going to be fit i'm going to fusion the two of them or make them in groups now we are going to add for example uh here i'm going to ungroup that make a duplicate of the text put it here i'm going to type in the name of the uh creator for example jack smith and like that boom here i'm going to add another page like by make it a little bit smaller put it like this boom now i'm going to click on share get our not the copy i was wrong but we are going to click on download what are we going to do is to get the digital version of that as a pdf print so we are going to get it as a pdf print and this is the final result of that ebook we're going to see it here this is the ebook now what are we going to do is to get the first uh, picture of the ebook as a png now we are going to select only the first page and get it as a png for the illustration this is the image we're going to see it boom and now we can go ahead and sign in into our account on amazon kdp and upload that specific book or ebook and then we can get uh, the uh, let's say here um the information about the publishing and the content the type of the category of that ebook all that stuff that are mattering to the uh, kdp ebooks so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one